Hello everyone, my name is Kitetsu and welcome back to my channel. So about a week ago, I made a video on the possibility of sea elves on the way to Age of Sigmar. I talked about this strange teaser from Out of Blackness They Come, which showed a boat underwater with weird fish swimming around it and at the end there was an actual goldfish. And then I talked about this image here, which predicted all of the Daughters of Cain updates that we received. Basically, to cut a long story short, it predicted there were going to be two elven factions this year. The first, all-female, led by Marathi. The second one was going to be a faction of underwater elves, and we didn't really know too much about them. Now, with all of the leaks that have come out of the Daughters of Cain battle tome, it seems like this has been 100% confirmed, and obviously take that statement with a pinch of salt, because nothing is 100% confirmed until it's officially announced and released. But all I want to do is really quickly run through the evidence of what has just come out of the Daughters of Cain battle tome, and to be honest, loads of you may have seen this already, but for those of you who haven't, this is basically your news update. While I haven't read the battle tome in its entirety yet myself, I've read an awful lot of it through the leaks online. And I've also been reading stuff from people who do have the battle tome. And one thing I read was that basically when the three elven gods and Marathi freed all of the elven souls from Slaanesh. They all attempted to bring back their own races of elves. It's kind of like they freed, say, 100% of the elves and then 25% went each to Tyrion, Teclis, Marathi and Malerion. I don't know the exact weighting of that split, but that's kind of the general idea of what happened. And with each of those portions of Elven Souls, they all went away and said, right, cool, we've got all the building materials we need to basically just repopulate the realms with elves. Marathi went away and her first Elven Souls that she kind of remade went a bit weird and she basically made the Melusai and the Kinnerai. But apparently Teclis, who is now one of the gods of Hyish, was also a little bit unsuccessful with the first elves that he created. He basically apparently made a faction called the Ideneth Deepkin. Because they weren't successful and they were a bit strange, they basically went missing and he abandoned that project to go on to make his subsequent elven factions. And the ones he made later would end up being the ones that now live in Hyish, and they're kind of these angelic beings of light. Whereas the Ideneth Deepkin basically just got forgotten and it seems like they went to the seas and hid underwater or on boats or something like that. So where does this all come from? First of all, let's look at the top right image, Raiders from the Deep. In Gairan, bands of Ideneth Deepkin emerge from the mists to ambush and capture a war pilgrimage of the Kraith that is aiding Alariel in the War of Life. Realising there are easier targets, the mysterious sea beings attempt to strike a truce. But as ever, the Kraith are unrelenting. The Kraith pursue their attackers, plunging headlong in the mists with their teeth bared. As for who the Kraith are, they're basically one of the sects of the uh, Daughters of Cain. Basically, there's all these different temples and factions, and these are the ones that are the most bloodthirsty and ruthless of the lot, and they basically just live solely to kill things. So basically, we have this faction that seems to emerge Emerge from mist and they met their match with the Kraith, tried to surrender and called for peace and the Kraith were having none of it and just tried to butcher them all. The thing is if you look at the main picture on the left which is the leaked pitch battle profiles for the Daughters of Cain which again like these leaks are on the internet you can find them very easily but I've covered it up so I don't get in trouble with Games Workshop on here and if you look at the bottom to be honest most of it is blacked out anyway. The important thing is that down the bottom it says that the Daughters of Cain can ally with the Ideneth Deepkin. And that seems to me to confirm beyond all doubt that the Ideneth Deepkin are our new Elven Sea Faction and they are literally imminently about to be released. I mean it even says in that top right picture that they are mysterious sea beings and if it's true that it says in that battle tome that they were a first unsuccessful project that was attempted by Teclis then everything just fits into place. 
I mean, the strange thing, to be honest, is that they've put so much information about the Ideneth in the Battle Tome, but that can only mean two things, I guess. Either that's an oversight, and where they were just talking about elves in general, they got carried away, or two, because Games Workshop knows that this Battle Tome is coming out on Saturday, could it be that they are actually planning on announcing this army imminently? Like, literally within the week. It could even be that our preview on Warhammer Community this Sunday is going to be the Ideneth, and I have no idea. I don't want to get people overexcited for an announcement that could be weeks away, but why would you even, like, confirm that this faction is going to exist and start talking about their lore if you're not going to announce them at the same time. So yeah, basically it sounds like we are definitely getting that second elven faction after all, and it's very exciting. I mean, in all honesty, we had an enormous backstory of Marathi to tap into with our excitement for the Daughters of Cain update, but really I'm just stabbing in the dark with this army, so we just have to wait for them to actually be announced and revealed, and obviously it's all very well me going, well, I could talk about Teclis a lot but it sounds like he kind of created them and then completely forgot about them. So to be honest I'm going to leave this video here. I think I've said everything I really need to say. Let's just wait and see until we hear some more and yeah let me know down below what you guys think about the announcement of the Ideneth Deepkin. Are these our mysterious elves that we've been waiting for for so long? And it makes sense that we're finally seeing something from the Tyrion and Teclis side of things but obviously this doesn't sound like their main faction. Do you think Games Workshop are basically saving that for an even bigger reveal? I know a lot of people are just very excited about a more high elven kind of faction coming to Age of Sigmar, but yep, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, you can support me on Patreon, the link is in the description. And when this video is done, I'm going to get back to editing that Marathi Law video. It's probably going to have to be tomorrow. Like I keep saying, oh, it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow. But yeah, I've just been so busy and the editing is taking longer than I thought. But hopefully for everybody out there who knows absolutely nothing at all about her, it's going to be slightly useful. It really is a very kind of quick summary of her character because the backstory is so unbelievably convoluted and dense that even since recording it I've realised there's like so much I've missed out but to be honest for a beginner that's fine that's all it's meant to really be a beginner's guide to a character but anyway guys thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one